Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode in my Unreal Engine survival series. So in this episode, I'm going to uh, implement this uh, stats bar, the health bar and the hunger bar and the hydration bar. So I'm going to work on this uh, HUD for today. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for the support you have given me. So after the last time I imported some of uh, coconut tree meshes and some grass material and some bushes and I placed them all over the landscape. Also I changed the textures of the landscape a bit as well and I thought that uh, no use of showing those steps because uh, I have already shown how to create landscape material and how to place trees, how to place foliage, all those things repeatedly in my open world series. So I did not show them here, but uh, assuming that you already know how to do that part. So yeah. So now, and also I replaced my robot, uh, the default character with this character and because i didn't want to proceed with the robot character for as this is a survival game and i wanted to implement stuff like eating drinking water so therefore i kind of felt like going forward with robot is not a good idea so all right so this is where we're going to start today and so replacing this character also i have shown in in this video how to replace unreal third person mannequin character so you can follow this tutorial and do the replacing so i'm not going to do that part also here so right so this is where we start now and so what i want to implement is first a hunger meter so some meter first one should uh, represent the health and the second one hydration and the third one hunger so like that I need to have three bars so let's start with health and hunger let's start with hunger okay so in my blueprint folder I have created a folder called UI and here let's create a new user interface uh, let's call it WTG Hot Let's open it so first I'll drag and drop this hot image So let's make it like this and I'll anchor it to oh. maybe this would be too large. I'm not sure. Let's set it to hundred by hundred and location 100 by minus 100 let's set this to 1 ok uh, just to see how this looks now let's go here oh, we don't have a game mode so let's create a game mode like this G mode code like me and let's assign that game mode as for the default phone, I'll add 
third person character and so also we need a hard as well so let's create which should be hard a hard class let's call it hard survival and here let's create widget from the type wdg hud and add to viewport okay uh, the heart is like this all right that's good enough and also i'm going to import this uh, water and food icon like this and let's drag and drop this one here maybe 50 50 like this and then the meat that's also 50 50 like this so I'm gonna have separate sliders for food and health so let's see how it looks okay right uh, I'm not going to make this more complicated I just want to keep it simple so let's add a progress bar it should be behind this Let's make this one three hundred by okay, forty would be enough. Need to change the color of this one. So let's fill this up to little amount to see how the color okay it's blue i don't want to use blue because blue is the color for water i'll keep the same red as the heart maybe uh, does that match really okay let's keep it like this I don't know and for the other color is it this one yeah let's make it more transparent like this but right uh, now this is progress health bar copy paste progress water so that should be oh wait where is it oh it's there I need the size of this to be 20 let's place it right here and I'll change the fill color to 
now blue so what's the <laughs> let me anchor both these to the left And this one hundred and eighty minus okay. I think the, we should make this a smaller, let's say thirty. make it minus 140 and the next one this one position X is 180 what if I make it 200 no 180 is better so let's give the same one for this one 180 and it should be here the shall we make this smaller yeah maybe 200 because this is the water bar does not have to have the same length as the health bar okay now the food bar progress food I'll change the color to yellow this color and I'll place it and 80 120 and it should be there okay now let's see how they looks all right so we have the food bar and the health bar and the water bar okay so this is not final we have to update the code to work should we make these icons a little bit larger Okay, this is bad. All right, um, and uh, I'll stop this episode at this point. So in the next episode, uh, let's see how to update those uh, sliders to represent hunger level and water hydration level and the health and then after that i'm going to implement eating so to eat maybe we need to implement hunting and collecting fruits things like that okay so thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye